Sit up nice and tall, please, and close your eyes. Slowly begin to exhale your breath all the way up. Breathe in through your nostrils. And take an open mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Stretch your arms over your head. Take a big breath in. Bring your hands to your heart. Exhale, side out, let it go. And with your lips sealed, your eyes closed, press your palms together. Take a few rounds of breath in through your nose and out through your nose, please. Breathe in through the nose, move the breath down through the back of the throat. Should sound like air filling the tire. And as you breathe out through the nose, same thing, moving the breath out through the back of the throat, out through the nostrils. And it sounds like a loud whisper being projected through the space. You can hear your breath, you can feel it as vibration becomes something you're very focused on and very intentional. And it's this breath that we'll use throughout our practice to guide us to keep us present, to hold us accountable for what we do in this space. And let's set the intention for our practice, which a little bit to do with you know, why we use the breath. We are accountable for our own actions in this practice. So even though we're all on this journey more or less together, right, and we're in different places, we're all being cued and offered the same instruction, same movement, you are still accountable for your growth. You have agency over um, how much you choose to.
I guess the trouble with sitting with my eyes closed is I have no idea when video goes out. So I don't know where we left off, but <laughs> let's just take it from the top. Hands at your heart, eyes closed. Inhale deep through the nostrils. Out through your nose, exhale. Continue to breathe in and out through your nostrils. Again, creating sound with the breath. You set the intention for our practice, which is accountability. Essentially, we're accountable for all of our own actions. We're accountable to keep ourselves safe, accountable for our own growth, for our own experience. So working today to be really present in this space, in this moment, to take charge of your journey. You can choose to go a little deeper, push a little further, be mindful of not creating pain or tension in the body. And you can choose to step back and reflect to use this experience as a way to just gain knowledge without applying it to action just yet. You can choose to find somewhere in between, to focus on one thing and go towards that. So, there's so many different paths before you that you're accountable to yourself. So choose the path that allows you the best opportunity to be your best self. Let's take one ohm together. Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale four ohm. Blink your eyes open. Let's come on the hands and knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Rock forward into your hands, please, and lift up the palms. Keep the knuckles down and lower the palms back down. Let's do that a few times. Lift your palms up. And lower your palms down, lift your palms up, and lower your palms down, going three, two, and one, palms down. Walk your knees in a little bit closer. Now we're going to come up to our fingertips. Press through your fingertips, lift up to your fingertips, lower back down to your palms. See if you can lean forward a little bit more. Lift up to your fingertips, lower, and let's go for five, four, three, Two and one. Stay on your fingertips, chin to your chest, cat pose your spine, press the ground away from you, round into your back, tuck your tailbone in. Inhale, spin your thighs back, lift your chest up, cow pose. Shoulders down the back, chest is lifted. Let's keep it going. Exhale and cat pose, please. Chin to chest, tuck your tailbone, round in. Inhale, cow pose, spin your thighs back, lift into your Exhale and cat pose, round in. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, lift your chest. Please come back to a nice flat back position. Turn your palms face up and point the fingers in towards each other. Wiggle your fingers and roll out your thumbs, rock side to side. Pressing down to the backs of your hands. Rock it out from side to side. We'll go Three, two, and one. Please turn your palms face down. Point your fingers back towards your thighs. Lean forward, rock forward. Cat pose into your spine. Turn to your chest. Round out. Inhale, rock back, and cow pose. Bring your hips back, lift your chest up. Exhale, and cat pose. Rock forward. Inhale and cow pose. Just like that. Let's do one more time. Exhale, come forward, cat pose. Round into it. Press the ground away. Scoop the tailbone under. Inhale and cow pose. Move your hips back towards your heels. Go ahead and sit all the way back to the heels. 
walk your hands back alongside your knees. Feel free to stay right here or lean back into your feet, lift your knees up off the mat. Maybe you're taking it up to your toes. Remember, we don't want pain, but we do want to feel the stretch. You're accountable for finding that balance or playing that edge. It's not like there's an expectation for you in place. Decide what your goal is, decide what you are looking for out of this practice and hold yourself accountable to that goal. Ooh, that was really intense. Lower your knees down, come down onto your hands again, please. Please reach your uh, left arm out to the left, stretch out through your fingertips, thread your left arm underneath you and come to land all the way down onto your left shoulder. Walk your right fingertips forward and press, twist. Pack your right hip back, move your hips a little bit to the left. Spin your inner thighs back to broaden your hips now. Draw your belly in, inhale. Twist, look up underneath your right armpit, exhale. So much crappy. Bring your right hand back down in front of your nose. And take your left arm up to the sky, please. Big step back with your left foot. Left arm reaches up, then forward as you look up. Lean back. Stretch through your left fingertips. Pull forward through your chest and open your heart. Please step your left foot forward to the top of the mat. Place your left hand down inside your left ankle. Look forward, rock forward, and lunge, please. Stretch through your legs, your chest. Exhale, straighten your left leg, flex your toes. Flex your thigh muscle as well, quads flex. So you're not forcing the extension by locking out the knee, you're engaging the muscles in the legs to create agonist antagonist action. If you flex your thigh muscle, the top of the thigh, the back of the thigh will get longer. Inhale, rock forward and lunge, stretch through your legs, pull forward through your chest. Same thing here to open up the front of the hip, squeeze the back of the hip, squeeze your right glute, now lunge deeper. Inhale, exhale, straighten your front leg again. Flex the top of the thigh, back of the thigh gets longer. Rock forward, squeeze the back of your hip, squeeze your glute, front of the hip gets longer. Let's do one more like that. Straighten the leg, exhale. Tuck your back toes, rock forward, pick up your back knee, breathe in. Look forward and lunge, stretch through your legs, stretch through your chest. Straighten your legs, exhale, keep your back knee lifted, please. Press down through your hands, sweep your left leg up to the sky, reach it up and back. We'll take our left knee to the left shoulder, rock forward and tap the arm. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Left knee into your chest, rock forward, bring your nose to your knee, press the ground away from you. Inhale, left leg up and back. Take your left knee across your body to your right shoulder. Hold it there. Stretch your left leg out to the right. You can keep both hands down if you'd like, but if you want to, open your right arm up to the sky. Stretch through your legs. Stretch through your arms. Really nice work, everyone. Let's reach the right arm forward over your head. Keep the right arm lifted. Start to square off your hips, please and stretch your left leg back. Come to balance in your plank pose, right arm reaching forward, left leg reaching back. If you wanna bring your right knee down, you can. Square off your hips. Three, two, one. Both hands down, both feet down lower, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Lift up to your toes and lower both knees down to the ground. Reach your right arm out to the right. And thread your right arm underneath you, please. Land all the way down onto the back of your right shoulder. Walk your left fingertips forward and twist. Please. Tone your thighs. Spin your inner thighs back to broaden your hips. Take your hips a little bit to the right and tack your left hip back. Draw your belly in and twist. Make sure your left elbow isn't on the ground, but lifting up towards the ceiling, rolling back. Twist through the side. 
Throw your shoulder back. Lots of spinal mobility here. Bring your left hand back down to the ground. Open your right arm up to the sky. Step your right foot back. Take a deep breath in. Reach over your head. Look up and back. You step your right foot to the top of the mat. Place your right hand down inside your right ankle. Look forward, rock forward, lunge. Scissor your thighs together. Press out through your feet. Stretch out through your legs. Keep toning the thighs. Exhale, flex your right toes. Flex your right quadricep. Use the action of toning the thighs, of engaging the quads to make the hamstrings longer. Inhale, rock forward. Squeeze the glute and stretch. Exhale, straighten the leg. Flex your toes. Fold it in. Flex your thigh muscle, pull your right hip back. Inhale, lunge, rock forward, sweep glutes, and stretch. Exhale, straighten your right leg. This time as you come forward into your lunge, please tuck your back toes, pick up your back knee, rock forward and lunge. Pick up your hips, straighten your legs, press the ground away from you, sweep your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Take your right knee to your right shoulder, please rock forward and tap your arm. Inhale, right leg up and back. Bring your knee into your chest, please rock forward, bring your nose to your knee. Inhale, send it back. Right knee to left shoulder, rock forward, cross the body, extend your right leg out to the left, and open your left arm up to the sky if you want. Stretch through your legs, stretch through your arms. Lean back, lift your hips a little bit more. Reach your left hand forward. Try not to bring your left hand down. Reach your right leg back. Square off your hips and hold it. Press through your right hand, lift through your right leg. Lift your left arm for three, two, and one. Both hands down, lower. Chaturanga. Good, everybody. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Spread your fingers wide. Press the ground away. In through your nose, out through your nose. Find that Ujjayi breath. Full and deep breaths. Inhale, lift up to your toes, please. Bend your knees, look forward, and lightly step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen into your spine. Stretch your heart forward, extend. Exhale, nose to knees, fold in deep. Inhale, rise to standing, please reach your arms up. Grab a hold, uh, sorry, interlace your fingers, press the palms up and side bend over to your right side. Press down through the feet, tone your thighs, squeeze your glutes, press out through the palms. Inhale, up and over to the other side, same thing. Quads, glutes engaged. Belly in, press it out. Inhale, come back up. Please cactus your arms. Take your shoulder blades down your back towards the back pocket. Lift up into your chest. Open your Inhale, take it up, chair pose. Hug your shins in. Spin your inner thighs down to the ground. Broaden your hips, then sit through that space. Get low. Hips to the height of the knees. Exhale. Nice, everybody. Forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Plant the hand, step or hop back, chaturanga. Remember, if you hop back, to land with bent elbows. Inhale, upward dog or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift up to your toes, bend your knees, look forward. Lightly step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise up, arms to the sky. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up, side bend to your left side. Quads, quads flexed, glutes engaged, belly in, press it out. 
Come back up, side bend to your right side. Quads flex, glutes engaged, press it out. Inhale, come back up. Cactus your arms, please. Slide your shoulders down your back, lift into your chest. Inhale and chair pose. Reach your arms up, move your hips back. Belly in, shins in, thighs down, get low. Bring your hips to the height of your knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Plant the hands, step or hop back. Chaturanga, nice breathe. Inhale, upward dog or cobra pose. Take your shoulders back. Then Melissa, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up to your toes, please. Bend your knees, look forward, lightly step or hop forward, forward fold. Nice, Cody. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Rise to standing, take your arms up. Practice your arms, exhale, curl it back. Lift into your chest, start to go a little bit further back if you can. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms up. Get really low, exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Lift up halfway. Hands down, take it back, chaturanga, step or hop back, moving through. Inhale. Exhale, lift your left leg up. Step your left foot between your hands. Spin your right heel down. Warrior one, rise. Spin your inner right thigh back. Wrap your left hip under. Press down into your feet. Stretch through your legs. Release the hands down to the ground. Take it back. Chaturanga. Over pose or upward dog. Downward facing dog. Please lift your right leg up, stretch it back. Right knee into your chest, step between your hands. Spin your left heel down, spin your left thigh back. Warrior one, deep in your lunge. Release the hands down, take it back, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift up to your toes, please. Bend your knees, look forward, lightly step or hop forward, forward fold. A little bit of float time with Sammy and Victoria. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold it in. Chair pose, inhale. Sit a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Forward fold, sweep the arms back. Interlace your hands behind your back, please. Palms squeeze together and knuckles stretch up and over your head. Palms squeeze together, reach up through your knuckles, press down through your feet, stretch out through your chest. Bring your hands to your low back, please. Bend your knees again, chair pose, keep the arms up. Stretch up to your fingertips. Exhale, take it down. Forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Oh, yeah. Exhale, plant the hands, take it back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, shoulders back, legs active. Downward facing dog. Please lift your left leg high to the sky. Left knee into your chest, step between your hands. Spin your right heel down, rise up, warrior one. Push down through your back foot, reach up through your fingertips. Now, interlace your hands behind your back again. Palms squeeze together, chest is lifted, heart is open. Exhale, lean forward, lean with your chest and fold in. Working the crown of your head down towards the ground. Focus on keeping your legs strong, inner right thigh back, outer left hip under, and opening up the shoulders. 
as you stretch from your hips, press down into your feet, deep in your lunge. From your hips, stretch out through your chest, out through your knuckles, and fold in a little deeper. Release your hands down to the ground. Turn to your right side, skandasana, right knee bending, left leg extending. Hips back, heels down. Try squeezing in first. Squeeze heels together, drop the eyes to hips. Then extending out, press out through your legs and sit lower, please. Very nice, my friends. From here, we're gonna walk the hands back to the top of the mat. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Take your left arm up and back to grab your right foot. Give it a good little squeeze. Opposite hand to opposite foot, so left hand to right foot. Roll your right shoulder back. Roll your left shoulder back. Squeeze into your right glute. Now deepen your lunge. Squeeze, heel the bum. One more breath. Release your back foot. Take your left arm up to the sky. Pick up your right knee. If you want to keep it down, you can. Side plank to the right side. Maybe you turn that into a wild thing if you'd like. To step your left foot back, you can. Press down through your feet. Squeeze into your right glute and reach through your left fingertips. Hold and breathe. Reach up and over your head. Very good. Come back to plank pose. Left hand down. And then lower your, actually let's do a vinyasa. Lower chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Right knee into your chest, step between your hands. Please spin your left heel down. Press your left thigh back, rise up, warrior one. Scissor your thighs together, spin your left thigh back, wrap your right hip under. Interlace your hands behind your back, opposite grip. Get your left dominant thumb is on top. Now before you fold in, go back. Take your knuckles back, lift your chest up, open into your heart, inhale. Deepen your lunge, exhale, fold in. Keep the four corners of the feet, of both feet pressing firmly down. So all of these little adjustments, you are accountable for keeping your foundation solid, for keeping your lunge deep. Uh, Sammy, if you can, a little longer, a little deeper. Only if you can. Working on bringing your right thigh as parallel to the ground as you can, working the crown of your head down towards your inner right ankle. What else can we be accountable for here? Keeping the outer right hip wrapping under, not pushing it out to the right to get more depth, stretching through the chest and through the feet, pressing down and opening up. One more breath. Release the hands down, turn to your left side, skandasana. Draw inward and expand outward. Lower your hips towards the ground, breathe. Walk your hands to the top of the mat. Place your left knee down. Take your right arm up and reach back to grab your left foot, please. Squeeze your heel in and twist. Little shoulders back, pull your heart forward. Squeeze into your left glute. Lunge deeper. Breathing. Remember, first and foremost, we are accountable to our breath, for keeping a vitality, our practice. Release the back foot. Take your right arm up to the sky. Pick up your back knee and take it to your side plank, left side. Right foot, uh, left foot, no, right foot meets the left foot. Stay there or step it back, wild thing. Squeeze into your left glute, reach to your right fingertips. Lots of cricks and cracks in the I don't know if you guys can hear it. Come back around, plank pose, please. Lower down all the way to your stomach and hold it. Please open your arms nice and wide to a T-shape. 
We're gonna roll over to our left side first, stepping your right foot to the ground behind you. Leave here. If you wanna reach back with your right hand, you can grab a hold of your right foot. Make sure you're rolling your right shoulder back, kicking the right foot back into the hand. Three. Slowly release it. Let's switch to the other side, please. Reach your right arm out to the right, palm down. Walk your right fingertips out a little bit and roll over to your right side. Step your left foot to the ground behind you, please. Reach back with your left hand if you can and grab your left foot. Roll your left shoulder back. Kick the foot into your hand. Slowly unwind and back to your stomach, please. Interlace your hands behind your back here. Palms squeeze together. Stretch back through your knuckles, lift up through your legs. Extend it out. Stretch your knuckles back, reach your toes back. Lift your chest up, pull your heart forward. Three, two, and one. Lower yourself down. Nice job, friends. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Go ahead and press up onto your hands and knees. Uh, downward facing dog, actually. Take it up and back. Downward dog. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Hug your forearms in. Press the ground away from you, breathe. In through your nose, out through your nose. Inhale, lift your left leg up, stretch it back, please. Bring your left knee into your chest, step between your hands. Rise up, crescent lunge, back heel lifted this time, but keep the same action. Inner right thigh continues to lift. Outer left hip wraps under. Interlace your hands behind your back. Palms squeeze together. Stretch back through your knuckles. Lift up into your chest. Come forward, warrior three. Float your right leg up. Stretch back through your right leg. Lift your inner right thigh. Extend up through both legs. Lift your knuckles a little more. Now if you can, lift your shoulders and chest, Victoria. Then bend your right knee. Can you knuckle, can your knuckles and heels tap? Squeeze, lift, breathe. So good, friends. Take it back, warrior two. Step your right foot back, open up your arms. Warrior two, nice big lunge. Inhale, reverse warrior. Inner right thigh spins back. Outer left hip wraps under. Exhale, skandasana. Bend into your right knee. Drop your hips nice and low. Squeeze heels together, press thighs wide, inhale. Stay low, come forward, side angle pose. I'm gonna take your left hand down inside your left ankle and sweep your right arm forward, side angle pose. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Keep working your right arm forward and back behind you. So working our overhead shoulder mobility. Turn your right hand so that it's like you're about to shake someone's hand. Your thumb is up. Your pinky is down your right arm. Then pull the palm back towards the space behind you as you wrap your left hip under. Deepen your lunge, breathe. Please place your right hand down, roll over to your right side now, side plank pose. Left arm up, step back, side plank or wild. Press to your feet, lift your hips. Now your left arm is working to reach up and over your head towards the ground, maybe even taps the ground over your head. Good breathe, press to your feet more. Let's come back around, plank pose. 
and lower down, Chaturanga. Optional vinyasa, feel free to skip it if you need to. Downward facing dog. Take your right leg up, stretch it back, please. Bring your right knee into your chest, step between your hands. Rise up, crescent lunge. Back leg strong, lift your inner right thigh. Right, uh, right hip comes under, inner left thigh, sorry. Lift your inner left thigh and wrap your right hip under. Nice start, so a little bit deeper. Interlace the hands, come in a little bit deeper. Clasp the hands behind your back. Squeeze your palms together, curl back, lift into your chest, deepen your lunge. Come forward, warrior three, keep your heart open. Stretch back through your knuckles. Float your left leg up if you can and breathe. And it's okay if you can't. You are holding yourself accountable to stay safe to stay in control of the action, to stay in a place that is allowing you the chance to grow without causing you pain. Giving you every opportunity to be stronger, to move away from limitation. Bend your left knee if you can and bring your knuckles and heel to tap. Then lift it up. Big step back, warrior two. Good Sammy, good Monica. Warrior two, open it up. Lunge a little bit deeper. Reverse warrior, inhale, right arm up, stretch back, please. Exhale, skandasana, bend to your left knee, hips back and low. Stay low, side angle pose, right hand down inside the right ankle. Left arm sweeps forward like you're shaking someone's hand. So pinky down, thumb high, right hand is down, left arm is forward. There you go, Melissa. Spin your back heel down all the way, Melissa. Yeah, that's it. Tone your thighs, please squeeze your heels together. Push off your back foot, wrap your right hip under. Reach through your left fingertips and stretch. Pull your left arm towards the space behind you and over your head. So you're really working your overhead shoulder mobility here. Left hand comes down, side plank pose. Take your right arm up and step your right foot back. Now you got to turn around for Kima, face the other way. Side plank to wild thing, reach up and over your head. Press through your feet, squeeze into that left glute, everybody. Press through your left hand a lot. Now reach through your right hand, reach up and over your head. So good friends, come back around, plank pose, please. Lower down, chaturanga. Cobra pose, your upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Please lower your knees down to the ground. Walk your hands forward. Let's take a puppy dog pose. Bring your forehead, chin, or some of you even chest down to the ground. Wherever you are, press your inner thighs back to broaden your hips. Draw your belly and ribs in. Protect your lumbar spine. And stretch, press through your hands out through your chest. A couple breaths. Look forward to your thumbs, rock forward, sphinx pose. Pull your hips forward and down, elbows under shoulders. Press the tops of the feet down. Squeeze your thighs energetically together and lift the inner thighs up. You might have to kind of wiggle to the side a little bit to make space for the inner rotation of your thighs, the broadening of your low back. Push down, lift into your chest. Pull your chest towards your thumbs. Stretch your toes back and press your feet really firmly down. Great, from here, some of you have a deep, deeper back bend. You can stay here if this feels good. Push down and pull forward. Then imagine you're gonna drag the front edge of your mat backwards. Keep dragging the front edge of the mat back. Maybe the arms come up. Less of a push, more of a pulling forward. 
So we're not just pushing the arms to straight. Instead, we're dragging the hands back to pull the chest forward. Legs active, feet pressing down really firmly. Chest is pulling forward. Try not to push, but instead pull. Three, two, drag your hands backwards. And one, lower down. All the way down. Rest, breathe. Bring your hands by your side. All right, let's go on an adventure together. Everyone on an inhale, lift up your arms, lift up your legs. Stretch back to your fingertips. There you go. Can you lift your hands higher than your back body? Stretch back to your feet, pull forward through your chest. Ready, sweep the arms forward all the way out in front of you. Lift your arms up as high as you can, alongside or even higher than your ears. Lift your thighs again. Cactus your arms, curl up even more. Reach your hands back behind you again. Bend your knees, grab your feet or ankles, both at the same time. Kick the feet into your hands, lift it up for three. Lift your thighs, lift your toes, two. And slowly lower down, one. Relax. Three. On top of our practice being physically challenging at times, it's also a test of our ability to stay focused. So check in with your practice. Do you feel tempted to shift and move about? Do you feel tempted to pick your phone or get up and move? Can you hold yourself accountable to being here and now in this present moment? in this practice, knowing that all of that will be there waiting for you when the practice is over. Let's go into some back bends. Turn over onto your back now. Back bends have a really great way of keeping us accountable. It's a very personal experience as we open up our personal body, the front body. We're holding ourselves accountable to play that edge of being challenged but staying safe, okay? Feeling challenged, working towards a place where you are feeling a stretch, maybe even feeling a little bit of growth, but being mindful not to create a pose or a position that causes pain. It's a good indicator you've gone too far. Let's go first into bridge pose. Lift your hips up, please. Hug your shins in and spin your inner thighs down, lifting through your outer hips should hopefully feel as though the low back and hips on the back side are getting wider and lifting up through that space. Lift your outer hips up. Next, you have the choice of staying right here, shins in, thighs down, or placing the hands alongside the ears, about shoulder width apart. Fingers point to the shoulders, elbows point to the sky. Take that in, fingers point at the shoulders, elbows point up. Press it up, maybe just to the crown of your head. Maybe all the way up to straight arms. If your arms aren't extending, okay, work on a few, good Victoria, work on pressing the ground away. You need to work on your overhead shoulder mobility. Nice, Jeff. Shins in, thighs down. Lift the outer hips. Don't force it if you are losing that space in your low back. Press through your feet, stretch through your chest for three, two, Madhu, really good, one, lower down, good Monica, breathe, nice job everybody, nice little backbend practice, backbends have a way to re of really energizing the body, so maybe instead of a second cup of coffee this morning, just dive deeper into your back bends. 
Now, holding yourself accountable to apply the knowledge of your practice into this action. What have we worked on? All right, getting the quadriceps to be actively longer, which is that all that action of squeezing the heel into the bum, right? Working on opening up to the front of the hips. We have to squeeze the glutes a little bit so the front of the hips can expand fully. Working on our overhead shoulder mobility and our shoulder mobility in general. So pressing through the ground, pressing through the hands, and trying to broaden your upper back by hugging your forearms in. Let's put all of those pieces together or we'll remind you of them again. Bridge pose, lift your hips up, shins hug in, inner thighs spin down, lift to the outer hips, squeeze your glutes a little bit as you energetically drag your heels back. Press through the fronts of your knees, press through the top of your head. Now, stay there or come up, upward facing bow, press through your hands, lift it up, breathe, hug your forearms in, hug your shins in, spin your thighs down, Broaden your upper back, squeeze your glutes, press through your feet, shoulders over wrists. Maybe you walk your feet in a little bit closer, shoulders over wrists. Three, two, big push to the arms. One. Very good, friends. Rest, breathe. Keep your feet on the ground. I know it's tempting to bring the knees into the chest, but um, holding you accountable to keep the spine in this shape for now. We oftentimes don't want to go from such deep extension, the back bend, into totally deep flexion, which is knees into the chest. So we'll take our time. We'll keep the spine in this shape for one more round. This is our peak pose today, upward facing bow. Uh, if you're going to stick with bridge pose, that's great. I love it. Just make sure you're keeping the legs active, stretching with intention. See if you're coming up to upward facing bow, same thing. Keep your legs active, expand with intention. Last time, set your hands, set your feet. When you're ready, back bend of your choice. Inhale and pick it up. Wherever you end up is hopefully exactly where you need to be today. Shins in, thighs down. Lift through your outer hips. If you want to walk your feet in a little bit closer, you can. Maybe try coming up to your toes for a second. Shoulders over wrists. And then lowering your heels back. Three. Good. Monica, keep pressing through your arms. Two. That's it. And one. Lower down if you're up. Nice, Madhu. Good, Vittorio. All the way down. So good, my friends. And I know those can be very energizing. You feel it. It's a very visceral feeling. I think because we spend most of our day in a more forward folded shape where we're kind of leaning forward, where our shoulders are rounded forward, where there's flexion at our hips. So when we get this big extension, it can be a lot for the body to process. That's why we do a few of them in a row. So we can slowly build into the awareness of the action. And that's why they have this feeling that you probably feel now where you almost feel like winded or out of breath. Let's stretch it out. Knees go from left to right a few times. Come back to your breath. I want you to notice how long we go before we bring the knees into the chest. We still haven't done it. Knees over to your left side, please. Look over your right shoulder. And we're gonna keep the knees lower than the hips so that we're not moving into deep flexion yet. First, we're getting this rotation and this is fine. If you wanna stay right here, you can. I've really been a fan lately of going deeper into the twist. Rock over to your left side, come up onto your hands, then come onto your forearms facing the back of the mat. So your legs will stay exactly the same, but you've just turned your belly down to the ground now.
There you go. Good. And if you want this to be a little bit deeper, you can thread your right arm under your left arm and come down onto your right shoulder. Slowly make your way back down onto your back. Take your knees over to the right side. Still haven't brought the knees higher than the hips. We're slowly unwinding the extension. Walk your left hand over to the right. Come up onto your hands and forearms. Turning your belly down to the ground, your legs will stay just how they are, which is staggered. Melissa, slide your top leg back a little bit more so that your knee comes to your foot. Yeah, even more, I would say. There we go. If you want to go a little deeper, you can thread your left arm under your right arm and come to land on your left shoulder. Slowly coming up. Make your way up to seated, please. Seated. Bring your feet together and your knees apart. This is our first fold in. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, tilt forward at the hips and fold in. Still not really rounding the spine yet. So rather than dropping the shoulders in, keep your chest up. Tilt forward at the hips. Take your chest towards your toes. Keep extending out through your heart. So we still haven't quite fully rounded, but we're starting to build more and more flexion in the spine. Thighs wide, heart forward. Thighs wide, heart forward. Try pressing your feet together a little bit more. Bring your nose towards your knees, towards your toes. And now we've rounded in. You can feel how much release it gets to move into the opposite direction. Inhale, slowly come up. Stretch your legs out nice and wide. Last stretch here. Inhale, sit up tall, please. Tone your thighs, flex your quads, exhale, side bend over to your right side. You can take your left, uh, right elbow down, grab a hold of, or hold on to your head. Maybe the elbow is on your knee. Left arm reaches up and over, stretch to the side body. If you want to take your right hand to your left thigh, it's another option. Maybe you grab your foot. So I just gave you like four or five choices there. Stay with it. Slowly coming up and let's switching to the other side. Left forearm or left elbow to your knee, go to the ground to hold your head. Right arm reaches up, reaches up and over. You might take your left hand to your right thigh. You might grab your foot.
Inhale, come on up. Slide the arms right down the center. Exhale, fold it in. Tone your thighs, draw heels to hips. And the hips press out through your feet. And fold. Walk your hands in, bring your legs together, and roll down onto your backs, please. Knees into your chest, grab a hold of your feet, last pose, happy baby. Rock it out a little side to side. Let's just go for three. You wanna play around with extending your legs before you release it, two, And one, release your legs, Shavasana. Head back and relax, please. You're welcome to stay as long as you'd like in this position or any comfortable position. When you're ready to start moving, wiggle your fingers and your toes, please. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. Stretch out your arms. Stretch out your legs. Take a big breath in. And side out, let it go. <sighs> Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big squeeze, please. From there, rock your way up to seated. With your hands together at your heart, please close your eyes. Sit up nice and tall. Take this moment just to feel the effect of our practice and to remember that we are accountable for our own actions, our own thoughts, the energy we put in the universe. It oftentimes starts with us when we work on being most accountable to ourselves, to be the most accepting, loving, and compassionate person we can. Then take that and hold ourselves accountable to sharing that with the world making a difference, changing things slowly, if at all, but most importantly, to changing from within. That's where the change starts. Work on ourselves first so that we can make the world a better place around us. So I leave you with that, being accountable to self-respect, self-love, compassion, kindness, so that you can make others accountable for it as well. Let's close with an ohm. Exhale your breath out, please. 
in here for ohm. Oh. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you for practicing. Thank you so much, everyone. Great job, as always. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or feedback, please do not hesitate, reach out. Stephen Arpus Yoga on Facebook, on Instagram. Also, you can email me, Stephen at Stephen Arpus Yoga. If you have the ability to give or donate, I greatly appreciate it. I'm Stephen Arpus Yoga on Venmo and paypal.me backslash Stephen, or forward slash actually Stephen Arpus Yoga. So, or actually backslash, I don't know, the slash. Uh, and if you have questions, as always, I really encourage you reach out, say hello, you know, whatever, just kind of make contact with me. Uh, I'm lonely, help. No, I'm kidding. Make contact and I'm happy to help you out if I can. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day.